Okay, this video is about rational functions and specifically how to find end behavior asymptotes. Okay, end behavior that is a description of what the graph is going to look like if I were to zoom out. Like where do the where do the lines lean towards? What do they hug towards? What's what equations of lines do they get close to? It can follow either horizontal asymptotes or oblique asymptotes. Now, oblique asymptotes are also known as slant asymptotes or oblique. Those are interchangeable, and you'll see both. But today we're looking at horizontal or oblique asymptotes. These asymptotes can be crossed by a function. If you'll remember, vertical asymptotes cannot be crossed. However, horizontal and oblique ones, they can be. Just FYI, they can be crossed. So look at these examples. Horizontal, you've seen a horizontal asymptote before. We just, with the basic function of a rational, you see the horizontal, you see that the line, the function will hug the asymptote. In this case, it's not crossing it, it's just hugging it. Notice there's a hole right here on this one. But the main thing I want you to see is the horizontal asymptote that the line comes really close to and doesn't really cross in this case. An oblique asymptote or a slant asymptote does the same thing. However, it's just not a straight horizontal line. It's a slanted line. So it's just like a y equals something line, like y equals mx plus b kind of line. So you're looking at equations like that, and, they, and they, the graph will hug those asymptotes just like it would a horizontal or a vertical. And on occasion, it will cross them, but not very often. Okay, So slant and horizontal. So we're going to look at how to find that in the equation. All right, so you figure out in behavior. It's determined by the degree of the numerator equation over the degree of the denominator equation, all right? And there's a little um, acronym we use. It's called Bobbio Botno Eats DC. Yeah, it sounds crazy. It sounds like I'm making, I'm smoking crack, but I'm not. This will really help you. Bobbio Botno Eats DC. Here's what it means. If the exponent is big on the bottom, bigger on the bottom than the top, then it's a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. If the, that, the exponent is big on top, bigger on top than the bottom, then there's no horizontal, but it's oblique, and I'll show you what to do in that case. The other option is, what if the exponents are the same? Then you divide the coefficients of that higher power. Lots of theory there, but I want you to get Bobbio, Botno, Eats, DC. I'm going to show you examples of each type. All right, here's your little um, cheat sheet. You'll learn this on your own, but just for now, since it's new. So looking at my equation, I'm looking at just the end behavior asymptotes. That's what EBA stands for. So I look at the, the degree of the top is a 2 on this one. The degree of the bottom is a 2. What's the highest power of x, basically? Since it's a 2 over a 2, then it's an eats DC. Exponents are the same. So I divide the coefficients. Well, what's the coefficient of the top? It's 2. What's the coefficient of x squared on the bottom? That's a 1. So my answer is y equals 2, and it's a horizontal. It's that simple. Look at this one. Fabio Botno eats DC. Look what's happening. Where's my highest exponent here is a 2. Highest exponent on the bottom is a 3, so it's bigger on bottom. So that's Bobbio. Big on bottom, then it's a y equals 0. Horizontal. So Bobbio is a horizontal asymptote. Each DC is a horizontal. And um, Botno is oblique or slant. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Let's try some more. Bobbio, Botno, Eats, DC. All right, look at this x squared on top, x on bottom. Which one's bigger? x squared, so it's big on top. Big on top means it's oblique. All right, so what happens? If it's big on top, then you divide top by the bottom. Okay, make it simple. Use synthetic division, all right? Divide it. So I would divide by x minus 1, so I change my sign to a 1. Pull out my coefficients in order. And synthetic, 1 times 1 is 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, negative 6. Now, once you've done that, you have a remainder. When you're doing botno, you can ignore the remainders. Okay, but you leave what's left. Remember the rule, 1 less than the highest power? So this is 1x plus 0. 
So my line is y equals x. That's an oblique line, y equals x. Can example four. It's already factored for me, which is wonderful, but I can, I can look at something. Notice there's a hole. At x minus one, there is a hole. So now I can focus on what's left. Okay, what's the power of x if I multiplied the top? It would be x squared. The power of the bottom is just x to the first. All right, but in order to divide the top by the bottom, I need to multiply this out using FOIL or box. So if I do that, I'd have x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 which is x squared plus x minus 6 divided by x plus 2. Now I can use synthetic division to do that. So negative 2, my coefficients are 1, 1, negative 6. Bring down the 1, negative 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Remember the remainders we can ignore. And then I put in the powers of x. So my oblique asymptote is x minus 1. All right, your turn. For the whisk, I want you to tell me what is the end behavior asymptote for this. Okay, use Bobby Obotno Eats DC to help you find it.